Alexa back with another video and today I wanted to bring you guys along with uh, something different that I'm trying with uh, this car wash service called Carpool. I'm sure most of you guys know what this I guess convenience car wash place is but you know you take your car there they have different wash packages that you can select from and then you just you know pick the package run your car through the car wash when it comes out they have people that uh, hand wipe it down and add some finishing touches like tire shine and trim restore and stuff like that so um, it's a pretty neat service the reason that I personally have avoided it recently is because it's an automated car wash where they have uh, brushes and if you don't want swirls in your paint you try to avoid those places but sometimes when you need a quick convenient wash that's what you got to do as you guys can see I'm in the Jeep today and you guys are probably wondering why are you taking the Jeep to carpool because I, I don't know a lot of people just kind of think that Jeeps don't have to be spotless or whatever I personally am a person where whatever vehicle I have I don't care if it's a super off-road truck I want it clean if I can have it clean this wash package that I'm looking at and it's something specifically called a uh, ceramic RVA package um, RVA is the Richmond Virginia area so maybe wherever you guys are at they have a carpool and you guys uh, can check to see if they have a similar package and I'll read off to you guys what it's offered so we're gonna go ahead and check out to see how efficient this wash package is and if it's actually worth the money so uh, just give me a second and I'll read off what this package entails so stay tuned starters I'm on the website now on my phone it is uh, carpoolcarwashes.com and you can scroll to see where their locations are um, they have a few in the Richmond Virginia area um, around the West End South Side Hanover and stuff like that um, I'm gonna go to the South Side one so I'm gonna look at services of interior and exterior car washes so this package in particular is called the RVA ceramic shine you guys can see the price is $45.95. That's the price at this current time. I know with inflation and stuff, prices have been going pretty crazy. So, um, you know, $46 and it includes everything such as exterior wash, vacuum, and towel dry. Um, they wash all windows and mirrors, I guess, inside and out. Um, they clean the console, instrument panel, steering column, and dashboard. They clean all cup holders. They clean the door panels as well. Uh, undercarriage wash with rust tight. I guess that's uh, you know rust preventative spray or something like that rainbow conditioner and here's the kicker um, Simon's liquid ceramic sealant now of course I'm not expecting something like a ceramic coat or whatever but I would expect to see some hydrophobic capabilities where the water beads up a little bit instead of just streaming down so um, that's what I'm going to look forward to and then I'm also going to do a water test before I go there so we can do a before and after comparison to see if you know if this sealant actually makes a difference. Wheel and tires clean, tire shine applied, four rubber mats cleaned, and trim shine. So all of that for $46. I'm basically gonna see if this is worth it. <laughs> Sometimes I don't have uh, the time or I guess the drive to wash a full car myself. That does take a lot of work and it does take a lot of time. And I have always been a person where if I have help, I will do it. But washing a whole vehicle myself has uh it, it, it gets a little bit cumbersome um shout out to the people that do but um sometimes i just i don't have the time for it or the weather may not be ideal um the good thing about carpool is that if you guys have never been they do have a 24 hour uh, rain check so if you guys go get your car washed and it rains within 24 hours if you keep your receipt you can come back and get your the exterior of your car rewashed for free i believe they still do that um i'd have to double check but that's cool because with uh, we're in May, mid-May right now, and with the summer heat kind of coming in slowly, uh, we get pop-up storms all the time. So it's never a right time to wash your vehicle, but you know you do what you can. So um, I look forward to that. I really look, I really look forward to see if this wash package is worth it. But let me show you guys the exterior of the Jeep first before we go to uh, carpool. You guys can see what I'm talking about. So surface value, it doesn't look too terrible, but it's just when you come in a little bit closer. I got some staining here, um, some smudges there and there. Um, there's also a handful of rust spots that are trying to pop up. And I don't know if it's because like, 
you know, the previous owner maybe didn't do too much preventative measures of like coating the paint, you know, with sealants and stuff, cause you know, it's a Jeep. I noticed this paint's kind of peeling and uh, that wash isn't gonna do anything about that. But um, this streaking, I always get this streaking every time it rains from here. I also get the streaking here. And I'm hoping that this sealant will prevent the streaking stains from sticking like this because it no matter what it as soon as it rains it kind of stays like this and I wish it didn't do that I don't know if it's just because it's a white vehicle or what um, the main thing I look forward to cleaning is uh, these tires if you as you guys can see this brake dust is a uh, pretty horrendous so yeah we don't we got to get that taken care of also side note I did get uh, new bushings for my shocks and the ride quality has definitely improved so i'm really happy about that um i got that taken care of about a week ago so really happy that that helped the back wheels aren't too terrible but you know they're a little dusty and the tires really need some tire shine i'm telling you when this jeep is clean it looks amazing same thing for this back tire it's getting a little ashy looking a little dusty here um you know just got scattered uh bird poo here and there just a little dirty down here and I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be like that Jeep isn't dirty but first of all I had to find a day where hopefully it's not gonna rain but second I wanted to you know actually have something that is a preventative measure because I do drive this Jeep in the rain um, you know instead of the Camaro because this is my all-weather vehicle more streaking here you guys can see so but yeah it's my all-weather vehicle and if I can have something where I could avoid you know how much dirt and debris gets stuck to it and rolls off and it stays clean for a little bit longer then I'm gonna do that I'm pretty sure I haven't washed this Jeep in over I don't know maybe like two months so this is the longest I've ever gone you know for me personally the inside isn't too terrible um, you know I keep the inside of my vehicles relatively clean the floor mats uh, you know probably could stand the cleaning um, not too much in the back I do have some dog hair and stuff because I hang out at my friend's house quite a bit and uh, they have quite a few animals so I have a little bit of dog hair on some of the seats in the back but other than that in general like I said uh, my the insides are, are pretty well taken care of and I'm grateful for that but we will see how well this package turns out I might not do too much filming in there. Um, I don't like filming people while they're working if I don't know them. So I'll try to get a little bit of imagery while I can um, at the wash. But let's go ahead and get started and see how this turns out. But first, let's do a quick water test. All right, so here's a quick water test. I see it runs right off. And leaves a little bit of you know, of a strain behind. So I don't see any beating, just kind of very flat. So I hope I'm able to actually see a difference, but you know, we'll see. We've been tested on here. Yeah, nothing crazy. So let's hope it works. All right, all right. And now we head to the lobby. Did they take care of the beach?
guys. Well, here is the aftermath. I think it's looking pretty good. Got that tire and wheel shine on. Mm-hmm. Looking pretty good. Back and looking good. I can see a little bit of a aftermath or like a coating on these wheels or something. So I don't know if that's the ceramic or something else, but I might touch that up myself. Everything else looking good so far. Hmm. I'm trying to tell if they, uh, you know, wipe down the plastics with the uh, trim restore, like advertised. But looking here, I don't know. It looks like this is like the only spot that they may have like done it. You know what I mean? which is a little off-putting. Um, they kind of missed down here. Other than that, I mean, I could do a few extra touch-ups, but in general, I think it looks good. You know, the wheels are definitely much better and the tire shine and everything. And I have my own tire shine too, if I want to add more. But the real question is, let's test this ceramic sealant. It does feel like it's a little bit smoother on top um, I still see a little bit of the streaking, but to be fair, sometimes this streaking is pretty hard to get up, even with like a microfiber and everything. So let's test with the water. Okay, I see some beads, let's see. Yep, definitely a little beady. That's good, so it doesn't sit like in one puddle kind of like it did before. But yeah, I definitely see the beads up here. So that's good. That's a little reassuring. Nice. So in general, I would say if uh, this this is about a $46 wash, um, you include tip however much you want. So just to consider that as far as payments and everything. But um, in general, I would say it's worth it, you know, to get the sealant and have someone else be able to take care of this for you. I was there for about maybe 20 minutes or so, and I didn't have a lot of people in front or behind me. Um, there, I know there are some days where it could get really backed up, but you know, for 20 minutes, I don't think it was uh, too bad. I think they got, I would say they covered about 90% of the exterior. The interior looks pretty good. Um, I did still see a little bit of hair kind of on the, like the seatbelt cover for instance, but I don't know if that's just something they don't pay attention to. But um, the floor mats are uh, vacuumed out and everything. I uh, still see a little bit of dirt on it, so I don't think they like washed it or anything. I think they just vacuumed it out really well. So, but it did look like they were, I couldn't tell if they were like training some new people or just having some people go over uh, what the detail entails when you get this package. But in general, um, I'm satisfied. I'm not over the top, over the moon ecstatic about, you know, what I got. But, you know, if you want extreme detail you know you go to a detailer or you know have a mobile detailer come to you check their services and then they will probably give you what you want or you just do it yourself <laughs> so um i can't complain too much you know i don't mind touching up a handful of things that i could see could use improvement so in general i would say uh it is worth it but definitely not something you need on a regular basis because this ceramic coat probably will last maybe i don't know two three months and then um you know, we probably have to get it done again. So I would say for once in a while, this is a good uh, touch up wash, like, you know, getting ready for the summer or getting ready for the fall. It would be a good wash to have your ceramic coat applied and everything like that. And just, you know, have someone detail it. And then you can do maintenance washes as time goes on, you know, just like, you know, a quick pressure wash to get the dirt off and stuff. So overall, I think it looks pretty good. So let me know what you guys think. Would you consider getting this done to your vehicle? Um, I am thinking about getting this done to the Camaro, but once again, that'll be something that I just get done once and then we'll just do maintenance washes in between because I don't want to put too many brushes on the Camaro's paint. So, but yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Thank you, Carpool, for you know taking care of the jeep and i think it looks great it really needed a touch up wash really bad so um hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day thank you guys for watching and thank you for your support and i will see you guys next time take care